Another Marshall's fine guys. They have the TMNT trucks from like two years ago. I found the Mario and Luigi trucks here not too long ago. Now they have these. Pretty cool looking though. I, I forgot how cool this set was. But there you go. All four here. Check out this Coles that I'm at and what they got here. This new mini set I've never seen. I think I've seen this before. I saw someone in the comments talking about this set. But maybe it was a different one. It's a pretty cool set. Those are exclusive. So technically I do need those. But then there's the Pit Party 5 pack. Look at that, Great Daryl Troll, Dragonoid, Megalodon Dalmatian. I've never seen this before, that's cool. Out of Walgreens, you guys are probably wondering why I'm recording. I just love checking these pharmacies. You never know what you're gonna find. I found a Blizzard Bashers a few weeks ago from a couple years ago from Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. And then Walgreens has 124s and you never know what you're gonna find with Hot Wheels. They're just super expensive, like two and a half dollars for a main line, that's crazy. But the 124s are not that much more, $12. They're like 10 at Walmart, so. Yeah, and plus it's Christmas time. They're getting a bunch of interesting things. So keep checking your pharmacies, guys. Exactly my point, guys. This shipper is at Walgreens. And look, I've never even seen that case outside of Walgreens. I need this guy. I need that bike. I need that Shark Week and that dairy delivery. But I'm not getting them here. I'm sorry. They're too expensive. And they're just little variants. Yeah, that's all. Another recreation siding. There's not even that much 33 here, but that's here. So that's kind of cool. At Walmart, guys. I was told there was going to be Hot Wheels, but all they had were some new two packs. So I'll put them up, but it's just this older pack series. It's not the new one. I just really want that Grave Digger two pack, but we're going to Target right after this. So we'll see. This was the Target I was talking about. <sighs> You know, you guys don't see it, but so many dust stores I go to lately, guys. It's really hard to find new stuff to record that you guys would be interested in. There's absolutely nothing at my stores right now. I know it looks like I always find the best stuff, but I go to like maybe a dozen stores now before I find one good, you know, good stock, you know. So this is all we got. I was hoping for the new two packs. I just really want that Grave Digger two pack, but that hasn't hit my area. When I found it, I was like three hours from home, so has not hit anywhere near here obviously so wherever the next store is i'll see you guys there i only missed this store two days and they already got their mix 33. sparkle smash captain's curse bad habit i already know it's not going to be a chase there's a recreation though another zombie got 124s i was literally just here a couple days ago and i was hitting it a few, like every day for a few days in a row and then i got tired of it and look where that landed me. Uh-uh-uh. We got two of each of these. $19.99 here, too. That doesn't make any sense. I, I don't understand what that's about. But, you know, they got a recreation. That's really all, though. I wish I could have hit it sooner. Um, but it's not like I really need any of these. I may have gotten the grease trap, though. It's always a cool find when you see the grease trap. It's probably the hardest one to find. Unusual stop here. I went through the Kroger bin. Found a couple of hunts. But a Zamek? interesting i just got this at a collectible store for a few dollars extra than retail so cool to have an opener it's a bad card anyway but also a couple hunts don't care about those i'm gonna put these back put these on the top because i already have a few of these they're not my favorite hunts of the year let's see the flame so yeah. all right got a hot loose monster truck box here this walmart's pretty empty let's see what we got there's another one in case there's something good but for now we're just gonna open this one all right we have what case is this Oh, it's a snake bite case, guys. Check that out. Right there. Beautiful. I actually do want this. And I also need this guy. Might as well go and, go and grab it now. And I'll peg the rest of these guys. Here are the remainings. Night Shifter. Um, I thought there would be two snake bites, to be honest. The Hot Ryler, Buzz Lightyear, Bone Shaker, and Gunkster. There's the other one, guys. We're not going to open it, but I will grab these two. Here's what this Coles is looking like. I've already gone through it all and there's nothing crazy. It's just really cool to see so many trucks. This Coles hasn't gotten anything in months and they just all of a sudden get like, it looks like eight to 10 cases. So they got some 33 and two because there's the Avengers, Purple Smash, and then the Legend Velociraptor and tons of mystery mutters. And I just check and see. They're not $19.99 anymore, guys. So yeah, I've been checking those at other Coles and they've been $20 for some reason they fixed that, but there's nothing really to know. I just thought it looked cool. Back at this one secondhand store that has a bunch of Moss Truck stuff. This is new. This is really cool. I've never seen something like that before. There's still a little bit of sound, but it's an old black stallion like set. You can put the tires on it, suspension. I've never seen something like that. That's sick. Metal Max. I guess that's an older brand. 
and then for the monster shelves there's nothing right here but there are more new stuff up front i'll show you guys in a second once we get back over there here's my local target guys they have the new two packs but it looks like i was a little late to the party i'm surprised this is still here but they don't have the bad company set or the grave digger set i need the grave digger set that's really all i'm looking for right now looks like these are on sale though the new mystery mutters they have both the max d and son of a diggers and then for singles they have a carnage asada i went to a target before this and they had a slicer i just didn't record it so seeing a lot of chases it doesn't seem like anyone wants them anymore but seeing these two double packs irks me because now i know they got them so i guess i have to keep looking all right guys we are back home and this video is mainly going to be an overview obviously the first half was some in stores that i've recorded lately i haven't been finding much so i haven't been recording anything uh, more than just things that i thought you guys would find cool looking like the the coals pegs like there were a bunch of trucks um i tried showing you guys more of the trucks that were at that secondhand store that i've made a few videos at um in the past they actually had a black pearl and package there but it was about 200 dollars and i was trying to show you guys but all the owners were standing around because they were about to close and where they were all standing around they were like right in front of the truck along with a couple of the other trucks that they had there they had a couple monster machine backdrafts which i do already have they had both the red and the black you guys are seeing a photo of them on the screen right now i already have them but those are show exclusives so i didn't need them thank god but they were both 60 each so the 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 plate the place is price quite thoroughly they know what they have but it's still really cool to go into a shop like that and just see a black pro like just casually the rarest truck that spin master has produced in mainline so today i'm just going to be showing you guys some things that i have gotten some pretty neat things first off is this new tool virginia giant i scored another one of these and i think this thing is sick i actually do already have one but this is a very rare one and this came out in a play set in 2014 other than that all the other ones are an old tool so some of you guys may not have even known this thing existed and here it is i have made a video on it before if you want to review on this go back about a year and a half ago or so maybe not even that and there will be a video on my channel overviewing this truck i got it about the summer of 2022 so not too long ago also i don't know why i didn't record it but i did find a matchbox super chase um i've never I, i've found one of these before but i've never found one at walmart so i thought that was pretty cool and then i also got a couple hot wheels monster trucks and you guys are looking at a truck that i scored off of macari i got a five dollar credit and this thing was five dollars so i literally just had to pay for shipping which was again about five dollars so i got this for literally five dollars ship and it is a tilt off so any tilt offs in general is going to be pretty up there more than the regular uh uh, version of the truck so uh the regular out and out well, is probably not as valuable as this because tilt tops are pretty softer they're pretty cool looking i think it was a sixth series same with the undercovers which is just like this but for metal based trucks people will argue that this is one of the coolest ones that they made and i could agree i would really like a grave digger tilt top that'd be pretty sick and it will be coming out of the package it's already half open as you can see and the card is very like bent as well as you can see so we'll be opening that towards the end so first i want to open the hot wheels monster trucks here so here is what i got first off here's the back this is the snake bite case i have already opened the snake bite and reviewed it a few videos ago but the other two new trucks in this case is the bear devil with the new color scheme and same with the board to be wild another truck that we've gotten but in a different color scheme so here is the bear devil and then here is the board to be wild i'm just trying to stay up to date with the hot wheels monster trucks so i finally decided to pick these up because i opened a fresh box of this case and i just felt like getting them because i don't know um when the last time i'll see these will be so went ahead and got them now let's take a look at the board to be wild just real quick i'm just gonna go over it pretty quickly i tried opening it from the bottom for once but that didn't go too well so i do not recommend doing that weird tread on the tires but it's just skulls and the tires are green pink rims so very weird color combo here is the figure i thought it would yeah it can come off um there is what it looks like it has hot wheels logo on the shirt but in black i think that looks pretty cool and then here's the design on the board there is some eyeballs and then just a bunch of psychedelic looking stuff going on with the hot wheels monster trucks logo i think this is the way we're supposed to be looking at it i can kind of see a skull that's i think why it's supposed to be i was just looking at it the wrong way but i don't really care about the truck too much i just wanted to get it to say i have it to be honest same with the bear devil so let's take it out real quick and we'll take a quick look at it obviously the cars we don't care about we've been getting the same accessory forever so we'll focus on the truck now i do like the design on this it's like a tron design and it's in like a uh yellow just lit up and everything's pretty blacked out there's some blue light ups around the back right here and on the front 
just an interesting looking casting some is green like the hot wheels logo on the side and same with the hot wheels monster trucks logo the specter flame is green as you can see black roll cage chassis and tires which does look pretty cool so mainly a blackout with some tron around it and that's pretty much all there is for that nothing on the back and just this uh, nose on the front so there is that and uh, here are a couple more pickups that i have gotten these were off marketplace near me these i got for i think five or four dollars each i needed both the big hub and I, need, I needed both of the big hub yellow and purple tmnts this is michelangelo i believe and this is donatello they're uh, different colors as you can see it's a different shade of green on both there's more of a blue this is more of a lighter green even on the shells it kind of looks like they're a different color i don't know if you can see that but to me, it looks like there are different colors. Um, I'm very happy to have these. I have both of these in small hub form. Both these are metal bases, as you can see. This one in a plastic base, but they never made this one. So I think I have both of the variants for the purple one. If there's three, then maybe I need a third one. So let me know in the comments below. I'm not too educated. I didn't do as much research as I probably should have. But I think they only made a big hub and small hub with the purple one. And then for this one, I may have them all as well. Um, as far as I know, I do. I I don't know. I, I don't think they made a blue metal base. If they didn't, I should have all the variants now. So there are the TMNT trucks that I picked up. I'm very happy to have those. And finally, let's take a look at this Iron Outlaw. I've been dying to get out of the package. I think it's dying to get out too because obviously it's halfway open already. So we're just going to slightly crack it like that and it comes right on out. Let's get it out. This was the plastic piece that was kind of like keeping the body up like that. So that's kind of cool. We'll wipe it off. Also, I will show you the back of the box. I was showing at the beginning of the video. But if you guys want to see all the trucks that are on the back, there it is right there. You guys can pause it. A really sick lineup. Really cool looking at the trucks that we had back in the day. I may still need that destroyer. I actually didn't even know they made a shocks version of that. But it says shocks and it has a destroyer. So maybe they did. If so, I need that. Um, Spectre Flame. I, I have that Scarlet Bandit Spectre Flame. I don't have either of those Spectre Flames. Spectre Flames back then was literally just a little red ring around the wheels. It wasn't an actual Spectre Flame, so they were kind of more subtle. So here it is, brand new out of the box and very, very shiny looking if it focused. So here is the Iron Outlaw, and we can take the body off. Obviously, that is part of the Tilt Off series. There we go. So I just got the normal version of the Iron Outlaw not too long ago. Finally, again, I had it as a child, made a custom of it, and never got the regular red and black Iron Outlaw from the 2000s until the other week. So now I have this one as well. So I'm pretty good on my Iron Outlaw collection now. So there it is. Really, really cool looking. I mean, I already reviewed the truck itself not too long ago. Like I said, paint the headlights. That was always cool to see. So there you go, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I got quite a few cool things, I would say, um, and some decent in-store footage. But just nothing to really be looking for out there right now all i really need is the gravedigger versus gravedigger legend encore two pack um, from the new 2024 two pack series and i just haven't been finding it anywhere it feels like i've been close so many times and i haven't but it will probably be within the next week or so that i find it it's just i have to keep chasing it so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and of course subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out